attention, attention. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you going to go in? I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call all of us together, after all. Sakura? Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina... Um... No, never mind. I, um, who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Uh, Sakura? Sometimes they don't give you a lot of direction with those lines where they're just like, uh. <laughs> Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered in the gym, it began. <laughs> okay, let's get the show on the road. You're about to give your next motive presentation, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You got us all together to present another motive, right? If, if, is he right? We have to go through this again? Ugh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole you're of life you really are. No, 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 no. What a perfect line for a mouse, am I right? <laughs> Jokes. No, no. No, no, no. No. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. You're... Grudge. We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye and a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> Bakia? You've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Yeah, so what about it? Well, today, I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura Ogami. What? He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What are you talking about? There's there's no way Sakura is a spy. Right, Sakura? Sakura? And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. <laughs> Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Uh, um, 
So, what does this mean? I is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the Mastermind? What, what are you saying? There's no way. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Wh what? Then he was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us all this time? It, it's not true. Sakura was probably b being controlled. There's got to be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She she was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do whatever she was told. What? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the Mastermind. You saw all that? The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff. And she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well... Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words... I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. You're wrong, I'm telling you. Sakura would never do that. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? It's because you're not listening to me. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the mastermind. What? I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Ho hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. S Sakura? I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... 
Can I just say how incredibly convenient it is that we happen to get poisoned just before this got revealed? I'm just throwing that up. Huh? No, it has nothing to do with it, man. None of, none yeah, of the things no, that have no. been revealed, right? Like, every time we get to a new floor, it's totally not at all rele relevant to the crimes. Exactly. It's fine. Probably never happened. <clears throat> yes. Mm. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. That's... Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. But, but... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. <sighs> Go to your room. <laughs> okay, Mom. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. I mean, very nice of Monokuma to like, put this announcement at the end of the day. I know, <laughs> right? Sakura is a spy. She's the traitor. Miyakiya said that Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not the enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? What can I do when I see the as long as you're a human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things that like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear! They are like... He's my spirit animal. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Nobody in the hall this morning. Kyoko. I wonder what Kyoko is doing out here. At least she's not dead, right? She should like, go to your room. <laughs> Kyoko, good morning. Oh, you're still pissed <laughs> yeah, at us. She doesn't like you right still now. Still pissed at us? Really? Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. I can what? almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Well, that should be easy now that everybody knows about Sakura anyways. Yeah. She's just mad because we wouldn't trust her with the information. Even though Maybe we tried to say up. yes like eight times. And she's hidden stuff from us how many times? She's still hiding stuff from us. Yeah. 
Ah, Makoto, are you okay? Uh, what do you mean? You were late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko? Byakia, what are you doing here? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind? Are you talking about Sakura? That's what I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Uh, where is Sakura? All I know, uh, all I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. That's a stupid reason. Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you would stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? Th that's not what I'm trying to do. It's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? If she really can beat the Mastermind, like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. Idiot! You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on! Byakia! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. What the hell? You disgust me. You're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants. And it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? Mm -hmm. I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow! How dare she! She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. What's wrong with that? A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. And I will happily elude its attempt. So, um, you know... 
How about we uh eat? Or maybe now is not a good time. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Solid. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Boring. We're just going to leave again. <laughs> I like how we just go into the sunny, happy daytime. It's free time now. Who should I? Which one of these murderers should I go high five? <laughs> Whew. Hmm. Oh. So what should I do today? Surprise. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. Kyoko told oh. us to fuck off. Should we mope around for the rest of the day? Uh, Can we what else? Toko. Toko. want Toko? All right. Toko Toko's like right next to us, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Why doesn't uh -huh. it tell us like you office. are here? Click -oo. Hey, you are here. <laughs> when are we ever going to get out of here. N not that I had much to look forward to I if I did get out. Hmm. Should I hang out with Toko for a while? What? More pity? Aren't you such a good person showing me all this pity? I spent some time with Toko. <laughs> Fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the present for her? Are we okay with the everlasting bracelet? Does anybody have an objection? What about the love ring? There's a love status ring as well, and an everlasting bracelet. What's a Zol's diamond? It's a fake diamond, I'm pretty sure. God damn it. Wait, why would you give her the fake diamond? I did, I just pressed wow. the button to tell me more. Well, all right. Wow. Let's see how it goes. If it's really okay for me to have it, I'll take it. But I'm not gonna g give it back. Like, get the impression that she liked it. That's good. See, look, it was fine, guys. I mean, like, that's a like, not a love, though. You know. Oh uh, well. It's better than the neutral, but. Yeah. Sometimes these things have. Okay, so guys, never triangle. Okay, triangle's the wrong button. All right. I thought Toko totally hated me, but it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. So we're not actually talking either. <sighs> hey, Toko. What? You have a question? You have a question for, for your classmate? Uh, is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? I just write. I'm serialized, so I'm always really busy. And when I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot li like you. Ah, oh, damn it. I had to go and open my bi big mouth again. You must hate me for sh sure now, right? No, it really didn't bother me. But I can't believe you would actually write novels. And that people all over the world read them. So how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or... Are you stupid? What? I just told you, didn't I? I write romance novels. How could I use my, my real life experiences for that? It's all for my Im imagination. It's just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do it in real life. Mm. Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you already have lots of experience in, in love? No, uh, not at all. It's okay. I'm used to people making fun of me. But, but... Someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty someday and show them all. Bowling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time, I'm sure she hates me. Oh, we got a little additional skill point out there. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Once we were all done, like, you know, after she ran off or like, <laughs> what, what exactly is that actually referring to? After I was done laughing at her hilarious bullshit, I wandered back to my room. <laughs> Should 
Did we try to find Sakura? Sakura? No. Those are always eating. I mean, they're, they need the proteins to stay bigger. Yeah, they're getting their gains, bro. Can't have those gain goblin. <laughs> Gotta get them gains. Lindsay, the jingly thing that we took off the dog, it defeats the purpose if you start playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. I appreciate the thought, but I'd like to be alone right now. I need time to myself. I need to think. Although, that one skill, I haven't developed too much. Thank you. Okay. What about Hero? Have we ever spent time with Hero? Uh, yeah, he tried, he tried to scam us, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got one vote for Hero, maybe. What I else? want Byakya. You want Byakya? I always want Byakya. Yeah, sure, like let's it. go to Byakya. Why not? Lindsay's he's thirsty for that rich kid. I love rich kids. Oh, uh, you should not have married me then. <laughs> <laughs> so burn, haha. Oh, so we're like right oh, there. He's in the whatever the fuck is like right over. Oh, the storage, storage room. room. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's never good. Oh, that's why she's <laughs> over here. Okay. It all makes sense. Could we theoretically spend time with her again? Toko? Probably, yeah. Yeah, of course. Do I hear an objection to the Biakia train? Why? Is no, no, that I was just wondering. Yeah, I don't know no. why we're always pointed at their crotches, but we are for sure. I know why you're always pointed at their crotches. <laughs> Fruit. Sakura and Hina. Finally, some action. <laughs> Things are starting to become interesting. Huh? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Do you need something? Hmm. Should I talk to Biakia for a while? Yeah! Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Man, he's such an asshole. Here's my uh, yeah. crotch. <laughs> I spent some time with Biakia. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Oops. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Oh, yeah, look, we hit the spot, guys! Oh, damn! <laughs> okay. It's gonna go yell at it later when no one's around. <laughs> Seeing uh, Byakia so no, pleased no, with something we'll I gave him makes him me some happy. sort of weapon. He'll oh, him maybe. Yeah, I can murder foil. with this super easily. <laughs> He's gonna put it in a microwave and watch him fight. Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Uh, is this a monologue or something? But I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation it reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? I'm personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all within a single day. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called... Trading day cards. Day trading. <laughs> You're talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? Well... I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not that big a deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? I'm Byakuya Tsugami. 
Is that meant to be an explanation? Four billion dollars is nothing to the Tagami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern-day nobility. You know, Biakia, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. Oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Geez, do you realize how insulting that sounds for the rest of us? Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Oh, I got a little bit more skill point there. Hmm, we got back-to-back -back skill points here. We've got, we've got all the skill points now, guys. Time for us to get some actual stuff to put in those skill points. Still mm -hmm. reeling from Biakia's story, I went back to my room. I cried a bunch. Yeah, talking to a sociopath really takes it out of you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. The night feels somehow uneasy. I wonder why. <laughs> we still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. It's probably fine. Joker's still mad at me. Oh joy, one more of these fantastic things. <clears throat> After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should have been a crab instead. How much can one person love cr crustaceans? Uh, crustaceans. Crustaceans. Hey, <laughs> they learned. I said no, of course. And she shut back. Okay, then how about... Um, <clears throat> okay, then how about to make you extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Have you ever heard the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crap doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Man, even though that's a shitty, shitty origin story, the Joker's might have been worse. <laughs> Maybe he uh he's not about to take your crap. <laughs> <clears throat> Good morning everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Huh? Was that someone screaming? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> not, not sure, honestly. Somebody like failing really hard to like rinse their mouth out? 
<laughs> I think it came from the dining hall. Uh oh. I was like, walk the Sorry. other way now. No, fuck, fuck the dining hall. I'm scared. Check right. the trash room then. Let's, we should actually do that. I wonder if there's anything in there. I don't know. Yeah, it's come faster. up once and never again. Like, who's doing yeah. the trash this week? It's because all the bodies are in here. You guys know that, right? Oh no, I can't. Oh, the trash room is always Ooh. off limits on its time. They don't Ooh. want us to know the secrets of the trash. Um. Trash <gasps> secrets. Yo, I have a really good idea. What's the idea? We could check the, the laundry mats. Oh, to see what's in the dryers. <laughs> Yeah, All right, uh, you know what? This time I think it's a good idea. Oh no! Uh, Hold on me, gosh. Yeah. I tried. Never again, mm -hmm. Mouse. Next time. Next time. I believe. Ah, Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hina? Yeah. Are you okay? What happened? No, oh, she she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina. She's clearly not dead. No, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Well, Toko and Hina... Just all of a sudden, they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else, I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Uh, okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Sure thing. Wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> Genocide Jill's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was really just a scratch. But still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> it's all thanks to me, you know. <laughs> okay. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Uh, I'm gonna get his side of the story real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again, which would suck. I love sleep. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight, and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Fight? Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand... Uh, that's my line. Oh. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack just let loose, right? What? He just really refuses to call her Genocide Jill. You're right, Mouse. It's super weird. And it he's the only one weird. doing it. It's like, like it's he just has no... Weird. He's the dumbest person in this game, I swear to God. Seriously, like... It might not even occur to him, you know. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? 
Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina? Sakura! You're hurt. What happened? Oh, oh, nothing. It was not a big deal. Makoto, hero, what's the meaning of this? It wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. Ah! To hurt Hina! Damn you! To leave me alone, but to hurt her? What is this? What is this? Yeah. I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Arr! Unforgivable. I can't forgive them. Yeah. Hero, if you want to hit someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I I, I don't hate you exactly. Why? This, uh, somebody save me! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... Uh, I think this might be Kyoko? Akio? I think What's Kyoko. going on? Oh, it's Kyoko. Damn it, you're right. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. I gather that something happened. Kyoko, you, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. But wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Oh-ho! Oh-ho-ho! Oh, oh. Sexy time! Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. It's fine. Huh? About that issue we discussed earlier? It doesn't matter anymore. That issue? Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. To think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Liar. Besides, I may have overreacted. <laughs> huh? Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. So, do I just talk to her again? Like, <laughs> oh, okay. That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. Uh -huh. I want to talk to you about something else. Something else? What is that you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Uh, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up with her. To my room! <laughs> I know, right? She doesn't murder us. 
She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. Oh, goddamn. The dressing room? So the something else you mentioned. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. But you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs alter ego. He has a business with us. Huh? Alter ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Alright, Alter Ego, what do you got to say to me, bud? Can we just talk about how this battery life on this laptop is phenomenal? I know, it's crazy, right? Especially running whatever this is. Right? Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it that he wants to ask us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? Oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied. Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, I don't want that. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want, too. So, to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Hi Kyoko? I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the mastermind really will notice it. But... Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. 
I, I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. So please, let me try. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without a surveillance camera? You mean... The secret room? The, I don't... Yeah, the... Sure. Yeah, the secret room. That's it! The secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. However, just because there's no camera in there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move all to Ego, and the mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. But despite all that, I think we need to try. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko, in that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I feel like she's wearing a coat. Hmm. I'm not wearing, saying like, your outfit is skimpy or whatever, but like, I can see you, Billy. I mean, with that much tie, surely she could just like wrap it around it several times. <laughs> like, what is that tie? Long. Then, let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramp for you all to ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. Ah, oh, it tickles. Shh, you can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. Uh, good. To have him react like a machine all of a sudden, I don't know how to react. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Why could they give voice commands all of a sudden? Yeah, I thought that was super weird. And like, also, why would it be able to feel, you know what I mean? Yeah, why? Mm -hmm. why? Why did it tickle? Is it the second floor girls' bathroom? Is that where it is? No. Well, yeah. Boys' bathroom. Sure. Boys' yeah, bathroom? Boys' bathroom. Yep. First floor. Oh, there's like a little exclamation point. Then why did she find it? Because she doesn't care. Oh, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> She's not limited by dumb things like, oh no, that's the boys' bathroom. Can't do that. <laughs> it's yeah, but except for the game is like really serious that we can't go in there. Hey Makoto. Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Just hurry up and go. And to make sure you don't run off, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go! Uh, uh, okay, okay, I I'm going. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. I'm incredibly find. suspicious that the only thing that's here is a box of tissues and some crumbled up paper. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, Matt, In the secret and room of the boys' the bathroom. Thing. Yeah. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. I found it. 
This is a network cable, right? I don't know, because I don't know anything, literally. Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it to the ether port with my cable. And that should do it. Um, yeah, I think it worked. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So please just wait a little while longer. And just hold tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're going to get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. But that he needed to write. And you can just say that. <laughs> I know, right? How did it go? Well, it went okay, but all the uh, documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoka was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, That's that much was for sure. Not Kyoko! Yes? Um, so we're just gonna split up? Of course. I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. Th that's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? Well, something has to be done. It's true. But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the minds to listen. Then what should we... If we can find some new clue that would likely change the situation, uh, that's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego... All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kind of tired. So I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Ego, but it was way more tired than I was real. But I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all. Did he ever eat? Nope. I completely dozed off. For the second day. Um. The sharp sound of a doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Who could that be? Makoto, get out here. Kyoko, what's going on? He just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Makoto, Kyoko. You know what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There was a window in the rec room door and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. What's going on? Did something happen to her? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. 
So, so what should we do? What are we gonna do? First of all, we need, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we're violating school regulations. We're going to force our way in. I just said! The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the red room door doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? Either way, this door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in? Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Sure. Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here. <laughs> I found a room. <laughs> In the classroom. <laughs> Use it. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Come on, please hurry. Uh, okay, you two stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could, aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the chair leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I could just... I pushed on it with all my strength and finally the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body, and then... A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. All right, that's where we're going to end today at the end of chapter four with dead, dead Sakura. Mm, boy. Hi.